It's going to be a nice smooth win today. Always good to start uh, in this manner. Yeah, it's, it was a good game actually. I had a long journey getting here, so happy to have a short game in the first round. Try to get over the jet lag today, so it's going to get tougher, I know. Well, you've got a lot of time to rest now that you had an early win. Where did your opponent go wrong? Uh, well, actually, he played. He had a really good preparation. He actually analyzed some really deep Benoni line, apparently from last year game Nakamura versus Caruana. I, did, I, I knew about that game a little bit, but he was really well prepped up. I actually sidestepped some of his preparation by playing a move knight ed4 instead of knight f4, and that's where he started to think. And I think the position was actually very close to equal, and I think his uh, main mistake was when he played the move queen a5, allowing bishop d6 and bishop b4 sequence. That's what he missed. Otherwise, it was a uh, pretty close game. Right, and uh, it's interesting because uh, what happens in the first round when you see your opponent who's a couple of hundred points uh, below you in rating, so well prepared and blitzing out his moves in the opening, uh, how, does, uh, how does that feel psychologically? Well, it, it feels tough because, you know, you just got here and you're not really into the tournament mood yet. And it's just, uh, it was, you know, I was, I was a little bit worried because, you know, and he was an older gentleman. So normally if you play younger players, they move fast. But he was very well prepared. And I just, um, in some point, I started to think, I figured, right, let me try a move that maybe he didn't analyze. So that's why I played this knight ED4. And uh, luckily for me, he didn't look at that move. Otherwise, he probably could have just very quickly equalized the game immediately. Then he started to think, so we were both uh, you know, spending time. And uh, at, like I said, the crucial moment, he made one mistake. That's, that's what happened. Sounds like a very good practical decision to sort of not, even though you don't go for the topical move, but play something that uh, gets your opponent out of uh, his preparation. Yeah, that's, I think, uh, you know, what you probably should do if you feel like your opponent is uh, especially like a few hundred points lower, but he's just s simply blitzing moves. In some point, he had like one hour and 44 minutes on the clock. So I knew that he was, you know, he had this position at, uh, at home probably. And uh, yeah, you have to do that. Otherwise, if you just uh, try to play the most uh, principled, ambitious moves, then you're just likely to walk into a very deep preparation. At least this way, it was first 15 moves he knew. And then after that, was we were playing chess and I managed to, um, I'll play him and win. But uh, I think you have to do that to avoid the very long preparations. Right now, early win, so you're just going to go back, relax. What are your plans for the evening? Well, for the evening, I got invited to this dinner at 8.30. So I'll just hang around here, watch the games, and just uh, you know go for the dinner at 8.30. And then I'll go back to uh, uh, my, my hotel. All right, well, enjoy your evening, and good luck for the tournament. Thank you.